Hi guys, this is Cassidy Guard with CGTV. I am so honored. I am sitting here, Playmate of the Year, 2016, Eugenia Washington. Hi. Hi everybody. Just take me through today, start to finish. What has today been about for you? Oh geez, um, today was, I, I'm, my brain is still catching up from today. You know what I mean? It's like literally day one of being announced as Playmate of the Year, and I was up at like five o'clock in the morning. We met, we had to do hair and makeup, and we came straight here and got directly into like interview after interview after interview. And I mean, it's just really great and to feel just the, um, the support from everyone because I didn't really know what to expect. Right. And I mean, it's just really great, and I'm excited to see what happens next, you know? What is it that really signifies Playboy? I always just think of the bunny. The bunny is just so iconic, you know what I mean? The bunny, the, the bunny suits, the, the beautiful women, the classy women, the, the you know, Mr. Hefner and um, just the legacy behind it, just to be a part of that just machine of greatness is is uh, beyond words to me, kind of. You really hold the title of a couple things. First of all, <laughs> three African-American women. Mm -hmm. You're the third in a long line of history. From the beginning, I feel like Hugh Hefner was sort of the pioneer of showing women and different um, sizes and, and, and different looks and just di uh, different types of diverse women. He came out with this iconic magazine that wasn't pornographic, wasn't slutty. It was classy it was romantic he told a story he's he showed women being just beautiful naturally you know <laughs> so I mean this is just an extension of his brand right now it's a great time to have diversity in the brand as we're moving into the whole like non-nude um, era of of the magazine and you know I just feel like not being biased or whatever but I, I feel like I am the the perfect person to move us into that new new era and I'm so so excited about it and to be the the third African-American Playmate of the Year in history. history. Yeah, and I'm number 57, so I mean, sh that's a lot, you know? Yeah. Um, it lets you know, or lets all of us know that we can do whatever we want, and there are no boundaries, no matter what it looks like. And you know what, Hugh Hefner, Mr. Hefner, is, he's always been an advocate of civil rights. He's always been um, a champion for um, integration and civil rights and diversity and all the inequality and all those things and that's kind of something that we haven't been able to see when you look at the magazine because of traditionally what you see. I'm, I'm the third black um, playmate of the year. So I just think that this gives the uh, this gives Playboy a whole different audience, a whole different uh, a whole different kind of face, a whole different identity and I'm just excited to be um, an ambassador of the brand. Now to me, I feel like you have a whole new status under your belt. <laughs> Are there perks that come with that? Are you gonna go be best friends with Beyonce now or what? Oh my God, hey Beyonce, I love you. I was just at your concert in Atlanta and you're fucking awesome. Oh, you were oh, there? Did I, I'm sorry. I you were at Formation? Went, no, it's YouTube, we can cuss. You oh were at Formation? Girl. I went, I went girl. <laughs> did you not go? What's in wrong? Atlanta? Oh, I was just in Atlanta and I went and okay. it was awesome. It was literally my first Beyonce concert ever. So I was like, okay, I gotta go. I gotta sit down on the floor. I have to be like front and center. And it was just, she's amazing. So I want to be like Beyonce and Kobe. If I can be like Beyonce and Kobe like put together, then I would be like Oprah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. What I like is the fact that someone like Beyonce with Lemonade, she talks about like social rights and movement and yeah. people coming to the forefront and you being on the cover is a big freaking deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. I'm just so excited. Like when I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, I, I don't want to say my black face, but my black face is on there. And it is. <laughs> that's how I be talking. Um, but you know, I'm just, I'm just so honored. I don't really know what this means now. I'm just kind of going along for the ride. This is day one, you know, I have yet to call my mom. My mom don't know. Hi, mom. Your mom doesn't know? I couldn't call her. I couldn't tell her. It was a secret. This she whole still night. doesn't know right this second? I have not had a chance to stop and say, hey, mom. Can we call her right now? Where's my phone? Where's can you call her phone? from my phone or something? Can you call her right now? I can call mom. Chrissy, where's the phone at? Hysterical. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, my gosh. Big moment right now. She's always busy. That's what I'm like. She'll probably hit. I'll, I'll hit her up later. And I'm like, oh, yeah, mom, a couple days ago. If you could All believe. Right, mom. She's busy. Mom is busy. She's like, what do you want? This is Lindy Washington. That's her. I'm so sorry I missed you. <laughs> so, leave me a message. And I'll call you you back. might not want to tell everyone. <laughs> yeah, all right. I want to talk about the cover. Where are you? What was the style they were going for? Here's the cover. 
So I'm, God, this day, this day, it was like the first, this was the one of the only cold days in LA. Like it really? was nice all week until it got to the Wednesday. And so it was cold, it was rainy, it was windy. Like it was almost miserable to be honest. And we were in the middle of a pool. We were at this very beautiful like house on top of Laurel Canyon somewhere. And it was like the 70s. I think, I think um, Jimi Hendrix used to live there. What? I think so, girl. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, gosh. It's still so weird. It's still so weird to me. But, you know, I, guess I, I haven't even read on the inside of it. I'm just, like, flipping through. I saw it this morning. I was like, <gasps> okay. Where do you want to go from this? Like, what, what's the big picture? You know, how I, do you go from this here? Well... Okay, hold I'll, I'll hold it. It's like a picture it's book. So We're going to tell you. It's like, look it. at this. It's in two pages. <laughs> well, right now I'm working on a hair care line. It's called DTMH by Eugenia. Ask me what it stands for. What does DTMH stand for? Don't touch my hair, girl. <laughs> Don't touch my hair. That's what it stands for. And I've been working on it for the past two years. And it's like my baby. It's my first company that I'm launching. And I'm so excited to share it with everyone. So that's what I've been focused on because I am like an overthinker. And if I do too many things at one time, I like go crazy mm -hmm. so um i've been focusing on that so that's coming out and i'm so excited for the launch i'm still modeling for sure um i'm acting as well i was just in the perfect match um that came out in theaters in march so that was exciting and i'm just i think just as adults we're just realizing that you have to just sow seeds and put what you desire out into the universe mm -hmm. and um have faith that you'll get it back because god has a plan you know what i mean it, it always says we make plans and then god laughs at them <laughs> curious because oh, you're you're about this girl. you know what I, I mean actually if you don't want to talk about it, it's okay but no, no, like go, 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 go. we're gonna talk about like dating and relationships and heartbreak game. how the heck is playmate of the year gonna intimidate the hell out of boys now god this is i don't even want to be that girl but i, I i'm I, i'm people are like oh you're just not um approachable you're just so are you single dating i am single oh fun what? i don't know if you were like secretly married with 10 kids like no no girl no I'm single right now and it's just you know dating is tough dating is tough finding someone that you can click with or finding someone that is I don't want to say loyal because I don't really like that term I think loyalty is a myth finding really? some I think loyalty is a myth because I feel like sometimes that word being loyal is an excuse for you to stick around with someone despite how bad they treat you That's interesting. you know what I mean That's a that's very deep. I never thought of that. Yeah. And I'm a person that's just kind of like, I'll try with you, I'll try with you, I'll try with you. But if you're making me feel some sort of way that, that makes me feel bad, I got to go. And it's not my fault. It's just how it is, you know. And for the sake of being loyal, you can't stay around in, in, in a situation that's just not good for you because it's your life. What I'm trying to say is this. Yes. When you meet someone and things are cool... But then something happens and it's like, now we're not talking anymore. Instead of just sitting there and being like, you know, you're still cool. Yeah. Let's just work it out real quick. People just have, people are impatient and they want like this instant gratification. So I'm like, dating is hard because I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> and if I say something that's a little harsh, if I just, you know, whatever. Right. Then don't get your feelings hurt. Just know that's mean. We'll come back around and it'll be fun. Not to say everything's my fault, but I'm just <laughs> saying like, you know, let's, let's get it together. All Woo! Right. Right. And I want to say thank you for everything. And I cannot okay. wait to see where your career goes from thank here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right. It was wonderful meeting you. Loved it. Thank you. And I love your red hair. This is red, yes? Yeah? It, it, yeah, it's something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit thumbs up if you love this video. And subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And thank you so much for Eugenia Washington, Playmate of the Year 2016. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.